Hey guys, Fred and Habsburg Racing, the 31 here in Wet with WRT. Uh, so excited to have some of you fans out here this weekend. It's been a long, long time since we've seen fans. Um, and uh, really grateful for all the questions that we got from the people that couldn't come here, unfortunately. But hopefully, very soon, all of you guys will be able to join us and celebrate this winning. So, Staz underscore B77 asks, Ferdinand, I remember your debut in GT races when you were called on urgently to replace the factory riders. Tell us how it was, who called you and how did you feel? I had just done a race at uh, Zolder in DTM and I was just going home and uh, as I had literally dropped my bags in my room in Vienna, I got a call from uh, the boss of WRT, Vincent Voss. Uh, the, t the team owner and he was just like um, can you come up to Spa please which is like like 30 minutes drive from Solda and I was like um, I mean I can but <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> of a faff but then I literally just uh, dropped all my dirty clothes put some fresh clothes in my bags and uh, went back to the airport so that's how it was it was kind of a felt a bit of a, like a rock star to be honest at the time but at the same time I was like happy to have a day off but sometimes you got to be a rock star What's it like to go flat out in a rouge? Uh, depends on which car you're in. In a Formula 3 car, it's easy, like even in the rain. But uh, in these cars, it's quite sketchy. But uh, in the end, you've got to do it. You've got to have bragging rights. And uh, it's quite an important corner as well because it, it has a huge impact on your Sector 1. But um, yeah, I'd say I'd be quite keen to have driven on it uh, in the old configuration with gravel. That would have been probably even more exhilarating. For me, it's always about how the car feels because, like in Spa 24 last year with Audi, um, it felt like in the in in the in the wet it was the best car I'd driven and it was just super fun. Uh, but in general, my favorite kind of conditions are dry and day. You can just see, you can focus, and, and all that. Although night brings a nice challenge to it as well. It brings you into this extreme tunnel mode, uh, which I enjoy as well. So uh, that's my way of not answering a question like a proper politician, but. I enjoy all of it. Have you ever visited Indonesia? And the answer is yes. I was there for uh, one month. Um, I was doing my own little backpacking tour through Bali, um, 2019, and uh, I had an amazing time. I went by myself, and I met a lot of really, really cool people. I started off in Canggu, and then I went to uh, uh, Ubud. I went up to the north, and I went to my favorite place uh, down south, um, in Uluwatu, that was my favorite spot. I don't know, the stars, the stars, the star track where it's like floating, that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't really know the names, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. Uh, wear different shoes ever since I was in go karts. Um, I think back then it was because I looked up a lot to Alexander Vogt, who had different shoes as well. He had blue and red shoes, and I liked the colors black and yellow. And uh, as you can see right now, black and yellow. Um, and the shoe manufacturer that I was with could not provide me with a black and yellow shoe, but he could provide me with a yellow, black shoe, and it all just kind of worked out like that. And not blue and white because I like black and yellow. Uh, but fundamentally, the first question, uh, the best party most, but is always after you've just won a race. So if you just won a race, I mean. Uh, this is why racing drivers uh, nowadays at least they don't need drugs because there's no better drug than, than winning a race you just feel incredible um, and are super happy um, and then with whom uh, I guess with the teammate that you won it with or the guy you beat you know because then you just feel even better